Hello everyone, Linda Israel here today, and I have a very quick project using the Calico Collage images. I had them in the one inch size, but I went into my software on my computer and enlarged them, and then I cut them out with my silhouette using their software. So I made larger circles out of the original file that she gave me. And the reason why I made those is because I picked up this little keychain, and when I measured it, these now are the perfect size to go inside. These keychains are plastic, they are two-sided, and they come with this little space that you can put things inside. So you just have to pop them free so I'm just using a pair of scissors to open that up and then remove the other piece of paper that was in there. The next thing that I do is I take these two images and then I glue them together using Zig 2A glue. So I'll just put a little glue on the back side of one image and then I'll make sure that I've got them going in the same direction and I will adhere those to each other. Now once they are put together, if you didn't get them completely together, like I didn't get mine all the way together, I'm going to take some Distress Ink by Tim Holtz and just go around this edge and that will help with the color that didn't make it to the edge because of the fact that I didn't get it perfectly straight. And I'm going to do that on both sides. Then I have a Brutus Monroe Detail Ink in Black or Raven. And I'm going to go around the edge with that. So that will finish off this edge. And it won't look like, oh, well she glued two together and didn't get them straight. So there's my image, both sides. And the next thing to do is to place it where it's upright in the holder. I had used a Tim Holtz punch in the Renea foil and made this little bow. And I'm not going to glue it down. I'm just going to set it in there because it won't move a lot, but it will move a little bit. And then close this up. So that will move sometimes if you shake it around. Sometimes it will stay stuck. But there is a quick keychain using the Calico Collage images. And even though I didn't purchase images that big, I was able to go in and blow them up in my software and print them. I hope you enjoyed this really quick tutorial on how to make a keychain using a pre-existing key blank, keychain blank. If you have any questions, please comment below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it with your friends because that's how more people get to see what I'm doing. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Thanks so much for watching and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel to see more wonderful things like this. Have a fabulous day. Bye.